All right, this is Chromebook Distribution, baby. Mr. Martin here. This is how we do it. With the little music in the background. Come and get your Chromebooks, baby. We had to get on a learning curve quickly. And so there's a ton of things that we're learning about ourselves in the community in becoming a remote learning school. But Bridge was built upon the power of connection, especially face-to-face, -face, in those hugs, in those high fives, in those smiles. And so now it really is testing us through the acts of kindness and care about the heart-to-heart -heart, you know, relationships we have with young people and our families. And what I found is that people are more likely to jump on a Zoom call or take a phone call or even you know, find themselves being part of a distribution, a conga line uh, of cars, you know, at the school because of the relationships they have established with others in the community. Now the children stay home. We, we can have something to eat to get fun. They do online, they go to the Zoom for the meeting and then some recess to at home. <laughs> <laughs> they're crazy, they're crazy at home. They should be at, at school. <laughs> Relationships matter more than we've ever imagined. The heart of who we are shows up in these lean and tough times. Here you go, sweetie. Thank you. You're welcome. What we want to do is we know that families are having a hard time whether or not it's planning meals or actually having real meals in front of them. And what Bridge Apron provides is two meals with all of the ingredients and an actual, like, here's the menu, here's a recipe sheet. It provides an opportunity for families to be able to create really great meals based on, you know, some great support from the school. Yay, I love it. Even though we're not able to physically hug and touch someone, you know, who we're putting that meal in, we are loving them through that meal. I think Bridge Apron has uh, created um, an opportunity for families to cook together. So it's not just mom or grandma or dad or grandpa who's cooking. Now you've got kids who are like, oh, I'm going to make this, this great recipe and someone's going to uh, take a video of me doing it because I want to share it with my teacher. Fifth grade, what up? It's Mr. C. Like I said, I got a cooking surprise for you guys. So we're gonna make Mr. C loves to eat. So I'm gonna make is a French toast grilled cheese. We have Mr. C's cooking class that happens every Friday at four o'clock, and you can learn a new meal he's cooking. Roll the um, the bamboo paper up over it like this. Like roll it. Like don't don't roll it like that. Roll the, roll the paper up halfway up. Yeah and then put your fingers at the base where the roll is. <laughs> we have um, people teaching art classes online, yoga sessions in the morning. There's TikTok videos that have been made, dance classes that are happening, and a host of other things that are keeping young people and staff members connected and engaged. Hey, first grade, it's time for math. Ready? Boards in the air. It's 125. Air high five. Air high five. Let's keep going. Good morning, first grade families. Time to say our greeting. Here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. All right, let's get down to our activity. Can you come up with a rhyme? Maka, daka. Maka, aka, aka. Daka, aka, aka. Maka, daka. They sound the same to mine. I'm proud of the creativity and innovation that has come up in our, our community. I'm really proud of all of the, uh, all of our, our staff members and going above and beyond to try to figure this thing out. We're going to start reading Flush by Carl Hyacin. I'm going to say um, Esperanza in the beginning of the book. You can pick what type of shadow you would like to draw and do whatever you feel like and just have fun. Bye. So let's get started. It's okay if you have a little bit of spots not taped. It's super squishy. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.
my class family. Good work, K1. I hope you have a lovely Friday and a beautiful weekend. Your teachers love and miss you. Sometimes you can't lead a meeting focused on all of these objectives. Sometimes it's about just checking in and saying, are you okay? Are you okay? How are you coping with this? What's going on, friends? It's Coach Mike here. Hope you guys are doing okay. Just want to say I miss PE. I miss PE so much. I miss being in the gym enjoying our time, doing our exercise, playing our games. Coach Mike misses it a lot. And even though we can't be in the gym right now or at the school, it's still very important for you guys to exercise and sh stretch your body. Go round the mountain, toady diddle dum dum. Go find a partner, toady diddle dum toady diddle dum Go find a partner, toady diddle dum dum this is a, a team effort. This is the family, you know, coming together royally to make this happen. I'm really excited about the, the endless possibilities that are going to come from this because we're much better and much stronger and we're resilient. Yeah, we're resilient. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was really looking pleasure. forward to it this weekend. Oh, awesome. This, yeah, yeah I think you. it'll be fun to have them both online. It's going to be tough, but we're going to make it. We're bridge. <laughs> First grade, I have some breaking news about the hashtag Learning Hero Challenge. We have been getting so many submissions of work, and we are just so proud of you. And so I'll stand in this moment with you. I'll just be present. Hey, good morning, Principal Carter. So I know you don't have the ability to walk into the building yet, but I'm going to give you a brief preview. So this is our front atrium here. It is so amazing. That's our library down there. And so this is what I call Love Central, our front office, our front desk. You get to see the trophies, as you can see, an award-winning community. So that's pretty dope, right? Love having photos of our young people around. I feel like I've been prepared for this job for, like, for such a time as this, and it just makes me happy. I feel like I'm excited about it. You know, sometimes people say, like, oh, we need a lot of systems, and it's going to be hard work. And it's like, I, I love systems. I love creating systems, you know? This is some of the classrooms. That, uh, this is fourth grade, so this is... Miss Romulus's room. Uh, so just wanted you to get an idea of just the energy that's gonna buzz about the building. 